Thank you so much for joining me. This is D'Edge. We're back in Kona. If you don't know, this is now available on Steam, so you guys can play it too. Uh, day one access is over, but thankfully, Palabal uh, gave us the full copy, so I'm very happy. We're going to continue where we were. And uh, as you can see, it's not full finished. There's still some areas that are kind of washed out, but there's a whole bunch of new areas that are opened up, supposedly. And I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more of this. And I don't know why... Oh, you can actually zoom in. I didn't realize that. There's like a lock feature there that seems to go up that road on top right, if you don't see it. Uh, right about there, this road here. It looks like it's wide open, this area now. I don't know. We'll have to see it. There's so much to do, so much to see. Uh, we did have to try to find a password for this. And I wasn't really sure. Why is it not opening? Okay. Uh, not a password, but a, a combination for this lock. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll try to figure it out as we go along. We'll keep our eyes open for letters and numbers. So that is going to be key. And it was it, three digits? I just to double check this. Let's make sure we get this turn dial. Oops. E. Hello. Okay, let's do turn dial here. So it's W. Yeah. So yeah, it's one letter and three numbers. One letter and three numbers. All right. I tried, I thought it was something like this. I tried a couple combination, not it. So we're gonna have to look a little more. It's fine. And again, this poor lady is still frozen inside. I don't know if you can see her. But yeah, she's she's frozen. And she's one of those people we saw over there. And there was also that diary that was on the bottom here. And the floorboard, which we read last one. So we did quite a bit of here. And uh, what's this? Unpacked accessories. Okay, let's turn off this. Well, the music's upstairs. That's right. Yeah, strong odor of paint dissolvent. Yeah, so pretty much is exactly it. That's all they've done. It is they've been moving in, I guess, or whatever they're doing. The guy runs out with a shotgun. So if you missed it, and the best place, for, well, the only way for us to actually stop and actually record, uh, stop recording and actually save is make sure we have wood. So let's pick up the wood that's here for the next fireplace. Any more wood or anything else? Potatoes. Well, that's in those days. That's for sure. If you haven't caught it, you should go back to the first one. Uh, it actually really interesting story. We got quite a bit of little stuff. We should probably check around here. Let's see that it says windshield. We should just check around this corner. We didn't do that before. There she is. That's freaky. Oh my god. It's like... Whatever it is, froze her with the window open. And I don't see anything from here that would have done that. We have to look out for also the trails from the, the wolves. The wolves trails are actually showing us certain areas or paths where we should go. That's for sure. Is this wood we can pick up? And Ken had also advised me that we forgot pliers on the deck on the other side. So let's head back to our car. And we're going to investigate a little more what's going on here. Get in our car and they get nice and warm. Oh yeah, we can't go in from the pasture. Must go in from this side. Beautiful truck. If you're looking at it, it's not vintage. It's actually in those days. So just 1980s or 1960s, sorry, 1970s. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Let's just look at our map. And right now we are where? We are down here. We didn't go across the street there. This is a round roundabout. And there's also a house in the front. So we have to go to all these houses first and see what we're going to do. And hopefully once that happens, we'll know a little more of the story that goes around. All right. Wow, whiteout conditions. Friggin' cold. All right. Whoops. You want to take out your mailbox? I almost did, though. We have to check those mailboxes, too, make sure there's nothing in them. Because it, surprisingly, there was stuff in the other one. So we're going to double check it before we go up the road. Uh, what the hell? Was I going the right way? I was going the right way. Okay. Let's just get out of here really quick. Stop the vehicle. The driving of this is pretty cool. I have to admit, they've done a great job on uh, the way it feels. It's a very, very nice game. Let's open this up and see if there's anything inside. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Still, we need to investigate this. Again, this is early access still. And so if you buy this game, you have to be, you know, prepared to go through the process of things changing a little bit here there but it does make the story quite cool to, to be a part of this like i said to you before alpha indie i love it whoa 
<laughs> that was pretty cool. Feels like I lost control of the vehicle. Alright. Thought I heard some music there for a second. Let's always check the outside too. Maybe we'll find some wood or stuff. See this wood here. Oh, we can pick that up. One piece of all that. Now, supposedly, there's a weight factor too we have to worry about, eh? Supposedly. Oh, we'll check that out. Right here. Weight is 99% weight. Wow, we have to be careful now. We might have to drop some wood. Carl smiled at the sight of the nicely protected garden. Hopefully, the Bedards had managed to take every last potato out before the sudden snowfall. Okay, so, yeah, I guess in those days that was a big thing. We'll go and check inside of here right away. I mean, we've grabbed a lot of stuff. Why does it show that? It says you can't see, is that it? Wait a second. It's number four, 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 four. The dark is recommended to use a flashlight. All right, gotcha. All right, that's what it means. All right, what is this? Glue, is that it? I don't think we can grab any more, can we? We can. 300 of what? what? The hell was that? The hell was that? Does it show us inventory here? Special. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Lamp oil. All right, that's cool. Guess it's going to come in handy for later on. Unless we run out of... What do we have now? 99% weight, okay. Still 99. That's good. Again, we have to survival. This is kind of a survival too. You have to survive through these elements. Your weight is 99. You cannot pick up any more... Shit. Um, that sucks balls. Okay, I'm just gonna shut you off. Very, very nice. Let's shut you off. We'll have to come back and pick up some stuff afterwards. It's too bad because I think the lamp would have been perfect to pick up. We can't take with us. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, a hammer. Is there nothing we can drop? Or are we not allowed dropping anything? Let's double check this. Let's find out what we can drop. Sherry wine. Can we accept it? We can't accept it. Select and accept. Quick back. Discard mode. Space bar. Okay, we space bar to discard. I don't know why I discard anything. Damn it. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have picked up so much shit. That's too bad. What is this here? Documents, specials, usables. Let's see what usable have here. Really need cigarettes. Does that one little thing take away? It reduces stress. So is stress, the cigarette will help us with stress. All right, I like that, all right. What is this here? Painkillers, vacation. I know we also picked up some bars at one point. Usables, that's what we had here. Specials. Uh, we picked up some food at one point. I don't know if that's useful or not. I don't even see them here. I'm sure we picked up some kind of chocolate bar or something, but I guess that wasn't it. It must have been ammo. Anyways, so be it. Let's just keep on going. We know where this stuff is. It's not going to disappear on us. I'm sure all these drawers have something we would want. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Looks like a lot of wood tools. A true Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone Key. in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. Yeah, it's a peculiar key indeed. Too small to fit in a door lock. What sort of miniature object was it meant for? Miniature object? We better look around a little more because a miniature object is quite interesting. 
Man, we need to lose some shit. That's what we need to lose. What's this? An aging car was parked here. Carl could picture the notary's heavy sedan with a huge backseat large enough to fit the whole family. All right. Carl was no burglar. He didn't need to resort to petty techniques such as window breaking to find his way in. A good detective simply looks for keys where gullible souls hide them. Gullible souls? Oh, wait a second. Gullible souls would be underneath a mat. Ah For Christ's sake, yet another key hidden under a doormat. Nowadays, Carl found his job didn't present him with much of a challenge. <laughs> the house smelled like incense. The kind that reminds you of the good lord, of peace. Good lord. Fair religious times, don't forget. What's this here? Religion was very influential Fine. throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Probably used to watch Les Jules to sing our... Alright, that's a show, I guess, in those days. The days of our God, I guess. What does that say? Who's zoom in? It says... The cargo d'influence 100%. Bravo. 100% good job. There you go. Peace. Alright. I don't think we can pick up anything else. We have too much meat and stuff, so we'll just close the fridge. We know where to get some more, then. I just remember that. More Polaroids. I guess those are way shit. Man, those days, those are like... That camera is worth a lot of money. Alright, let's pick up more matches. It's gonna be handy. If we can pick them up, why else will take them? I also don't follow the weight schedule. The weight uh, mechanism, so that's okay. We love leaving a mess. It's okay. Once we open that door, everything closes like Satan just walked in. Alright. Okay, well, we'll close you up. Can I close you up? No? Alright. Just be a pain in the ass. I can't get around! Close the friggin' door! Can I close you, please? Oh my god. I don't want the fucking stake. I just want to get around. There's no way around this friggin' door. Uh, can I go through here? There we go. If I go through this door, everything else should close. Like Satan. I told you. It's like friggin' possession coming out of here. Alright, let's open up this door here. What's going on? Have you cool as a robbery? No, there's nothing here. Clogged. Why would you know that? You put your hand in somebody else's. Oof, that's gross. Love of religion and ancestors was rooted <sighs> deep inside the hearts of Canadians of old, to which the Bedards appeared to be closely related. The family's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. The empty cradle sent an eerie feeling down Carl's spine. Oh, As diapers. Ago, someone just grabbed the baby and made a run for it. Ooh, we got diapers in our face. It's not good. All right. This is pretty good. Our truck's still there. This mystery, I tell you. Kids' drawings. Smile, smile. Got your sketch. Clothes, I guess. I don't know what the hell that is. Socks. Boy, it looks like they just grabbed everything and ran. Why is there no one around here? Surely this Jean Luc Bedard could lead Carl to Hamilton, aka Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie. What is it again to read? Oh yeah. Oh boy, it's a long one. August 16, I have a diary just like Mom lay under her. Uh, unlike her. Though, I don't wear a long face when writing, uh, but I love to write my mind. And Martin, Martin, most, uh, most of all, I love talking about him. I think he loves me too. Just like Romeo and Juliet, people don't like it when we see, I see him. 
only because he's a bleh, I guess the last name. Uh, <laughs> but just like the story, nothing can stand in the way of true love. August 18, uh, I lost appetite, I can't sleep anymore. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. Dad's ma uh, making me see a Dr. Beaupré. Oh shit, okay. This, I think we read her, her actual, her, uh, her chart before. With his uh, big hands touching me everywhere, his foul breath ex uh, exhaling all over my face. Yuck! I am not sick. I'm in love. I love Martin so much. There's nothing I like better than thinking about us playing together, like we always do. I wonder if he found the key I lost in the other day. He's pretty sad that when he did what I did, because it's his. Uh, it's for his dad's garden shed. And Martin has always been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. <laughs> okay. Uh, the key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Poor Martin. He cried like a baby. But I still love him. All right. So that's, a, that's actually the little hole where we found uh, last, I think it's the last episode, uh, where we found a little hole uh, next to the shed and we found the actual we actually found it. We saw a key inside. That's why we have the magnets. Where is this again? Four. That's why we had the magnets and the rope to get it. Get it because it's really deep in that hole. She looked pretty young, if you ask me about Romeo and Juliet. Shit, those pictures look like a child. Child uh, drawing. I don't know how old she is. Oh, there's two beds. That's probably why hers looks like a little bit older. Globe. Yeah, okay, so she's a little older with a younger kid next to her. All right, that makes sense. Oh. Another diary? Oh, yay. The Bedards had vacated the premises. Carl gathered they would be of no help. Well, no one's left, for God's sake. The only thing we saw was one car at the first episode, and they were steaming by us, and ever since then, there has not been a soul in this whole town. August 16, Dr. Bobitrupre had told me it would start sh uh, start showing soon, that I couldn't keep it uh, hidden forever. Gotta muster courage, he said, with his unusual uh, condescending tone. Courage, the face, what's coming? But he doesn't get it, uh, get it at all. For him, I just had some childish affair. He doesn't realize I brought eternal damnation upon myself. Okay, so she's the one that we spread the chart for also. So she's the one that has a baby with an affair. September 14th, Mary is very sick and Jean-Luc plunges into despair. I told him nothing about the evil growing inside me. Sometimes I get the feeling he can see right through me. My Mary is suffering and I'm the one to blame. Oh Lord, Almighty, my, uh, why do my children have to pay for my parents and for their parents' sins? Yeah, well... Shouldn't cheat, motherfucker. But you know, those are different days, I guess. All right, let's get rid of this. All right, so that's pretty cool. We think we got everything in here. I didn't check in here. Let's open up the light. Definitely don't need batteries for a flashlight. There's nothing in this, eh? Nothing at all. Okay. So a very religious house. Wow. I didn't check the stove at all, did I? Did we just check that? Oh yeah, everything closed on us, that's right. Everything closed on us. Little pantry. Enough food for rough times. Yeah, they're preparing for that. There's like a little note or something. I guess that's what we're gonna be using. Okay, so yeah, the religious symbols and everything are everywhere on top of the doors. And that's something we have to look for, I think, in this game more and more. I think that's even a picture of the Pope in those days. Is that what it is? Yeah, I guess that's a Pope in those days or Cardinals are possible. I don't know those, uh, who is a Pope in those days, but yeah. All right, that's very interesting. Huh. So the interest part is really going to be to figure out where we're going with this. And we're going to have to start moving across and start going to other houses here and start moving from there. Let's go to another house. Let's take a walk around here to make sure. We don't need a flashlight anymore. 
Man, we're fully loaded on stock on SR. The weight is so heavy on us, but hopefully we don't have to carry everything. What the hell is out here? It's whiteout conditions. Whiteout. There is some wolf tracks. I'll try and take a little walk and see if there's anything around here. Holy crap. How far are these going? I don't want to go too far and get frozen. And then die out here with that <laughs> be suck if we went through all this. Just to freeze and die. I don't know if the wolves, from what I heard, the wolves are able to kill you, but I didn't see if that's possible by anything. Okay, that's just like some kind of weird tree. Okay, it's so another fireplace here. Some more beers. Okay, I don't want to lose our track here. Yeah, that's going too freaking far. For my taste, it's going way too far. I mean, we can do this later on. We have a little more of these to go through. We're going to have to do is start going through the other houses. I want to check out the new side also of the town. That's going to be key and up stupid me. Hopefully, I'm going back the right way. I think we are. We're worried about those wolves. I don't want to get killed by one right now. I don't know much further before we get caught doing that. I figure we could use a steak or something to throw at them. We keep on picking up steaks. I don't think he's going to eat raw steaks throughout. I haven't seen him eat once so far, so cigarettes seem to be his only passion. Yeah, I think we're going to end it here. It's already way past its time frame. Okay, so next episode, we're going to start going a little further in. We're going to start going through the houses a little faster. As much as possible. Again, we tried not. I try to make sure we could see everything we can and investigate. Again, this is an investigation to find out what happened to all these people. And I just keep. If you want to see more of this style, you need to please hit the like button. And again, I appreciate you guys supporting it. And if uh, it's very different, I know, than usual. And then it's just a part of what it is. You know, I like the different kind of games, and that's the way we do it. We start playing other kind of games too. I will do continue crafting and stuff, so don't worry about that. You see that line right here? This is one we have to go to. And then after that, we have to go back to the gas station. And we're supposed to follow the wolf's tracks. And there's something over there, too. And we'll have to go back up a little bit to go and get the... Uh, to see what that lock is, first of all. I know that was a locked part where we saw those figment... Those, uh, we got into this kind of trance and all that at one point. So we saw all the characters and all that. I wonder if that's going to be something that's going to be really influential in this game. I, I believe so because of Frozen and how she's stuck in there. So I can't wait to see what how this all comes out. Again, I'd love to have a discussion if you guys want to too. Shoot in the comments, feel what you could think and what's going on. And please, if you finished or gone further uh, than this, please don't spoil it for everybody else. And just try not to throw in all the answers what's going on. But again, uh, some theory is always fun to kind of throw around. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me again and we're going to continue striving through this game and again hit the like button if you want to see more this is the edge from game edge and i'll catch you on the flip side